we almost got arrested. The fuck happened last night? Wow. This shot of just everyone in a circle. It's like go up to Justin Bieber. I just pissed my pants. Don't come to coach. <laughs> No way. Oh. This is what you have to do to pick up your fucking ticket right now. Oh my god, this is the most heinous line I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god. <laughs> No, really, I'm so happy that my ticket just could never be delivered to my apartment. I'm really thrilled that instead this is what we're doing. I am so happy that we are the last people standing in line. <laughs> this is the longest line ever. We better be getting on a fun ride after this. <laughs> I have to go to Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> this cannot be real. Wave. I'm so Wave. happy you think I look like Wave. Jesus. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Jesus. Is that you? Please help me. <laughs> Oh my god. This is the best moment of my entire life. A mirror. I'm just gonna be vlogging in this mirror for the next few days. We didn't have a mirror last year. We didn't know what we looked like any day. <laughs> and like, that's why we looked so fucking yeah, we bad. Disgusting. <laughs> Even when you look in the mirror, you're always looking in another mirror. We have no excuse to not look good. We look ugly again this year. We're just ugly. It's just us. <laughs> We're staying with like five other people, by the way. But like, this is just our own section. Might as well be a fucking kitchen in this bitch. I have to get an easy bake oven. Really? Oh my god, I can't deal with this every night. I have to find a boy to sleep with right now. Oh my god. Are you the pool boy? What's going on? <laughs> I have to leave. <laughs> the headband has to come out. Oh, Coachella's really started now. <laughs> oh, no, you look really good. <laughs> okay, wait, let's go make this pizza. <laughs> Oh my god. I will find fucking turtles if it's the last damn thing I do. I feel like I'm running a race. Oh my god, look at the turtles. Oh, they're fucking giant. That's fucking literally us. If you're not drunk, ladies and gentlemen! All three of us. <laughs> look what you did, Megan. You scared the fucking turtles away. All right, well, that's it for now, I guess. I just really can't believe that I'm standing in my bathroom for day one of Coachella. Hey, shut up. Not the peanut gallery just bullying me already. Get out of town. Get out of here. <laughs> You want to see some Cirque du Soleil? Go Jella! <laughs> All right, people, it's 11.30. Guess what? Harry Styles doesn't go on stage for 12 more hours. I actually have no idea what we're planning on doing today. I just feel like I need to get ready earlier rather than later this year, so I'm gonna start doing my hair. And even though I don't know what the fuck we're doing today, I'm gonna start doing that. So here we go. Oh my God, getting ready for the first time for a hotel in three years. It's day one! It's day one! What the fuck is happening with my hair right now? Oh god, okay, yep, here we go, here we go, gotta get ready. Okay, I just did this. Obviously, I'm gonna wear my hair up because I cannot be bothered to have it down right now in this heat. So I added some pearl clips to my hair because my outfit kind of has a lot of pearls in it today. So we're gonna see how I feel about that when the whole thing is together. But as of now, this is what we've got going on. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. As much as I would love to talk to you all while I do that, I don't. I just want to get done and focus on this. So I'm gonna do that, so here we go. I feel like I am on We've top of the it. world right now. We've done it. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait to dance and see Harry fucking Styles. I cannot. <gasps> I like actually like I've been so focused on getting ready. Like I actually like, pretty we're actually going to see Harry. Oh my god, my heartbeat just went up like so much. Our Uber is about to be here. I don't even know. Ah! Hotel is about to be a big ass high school reunion. It feels like I feel like everyone and their mothers is gonna be there and I'm just freaking out But I'm ready to have fun I am so excited to shake my ass in these pants and if I don't make out with a random guy to Harry Styles I'm gonna jump off a bridge. So let's hope that that's not the case. Okay. I'm gonna go to Coachella now We <laughs> are running into the festival. You're kind of the only one running um, My dress is riding up my ass right now. <laughs> so I hope everyone's enjoying the feel <laughs> This is what sweet 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 victory feels like. This is the best moment of my entire fucking life Our lift was $150 to get here and then our lift driver just got a $90 ticket and I paid it for her In case you're wondering, I am never going to financially recover from this weekend It's just not happening. But you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy the dust, the you dirt, and the sunset I was supposed to fix my car this week and I'm here now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have a broken car. At least I went to Coachella You're just gonna have to get used to a new method of transportation, aka a bike Yay! Oh my god. What an upgrade. God, I love TikTok. I love having famous friends. <laughs> 
If I run fast enough, I might see Harry Styles a little sooner than if I walk. Oh my god, oh my god. Everyone, I'm seeing Harry Styles tonight. None of you are. There's no reason for us to be running, but I'm so happy I have to run. Where are we going? I don't know. Everyone stop running before I have an asthma attack. Alright guys, the big fucking moment. Do we need to sneak in three days in a row or no? Not wristband help. <laughs> Trauma. This needs to go seamlessly right now. That's all I'm asking for. Thank you. Oh, yes. oh amazing. Yes. Thank you. Ah! It worked. <laughs> I was like, you have no idea what I've been through. Apparently, this is VIP. Oh my god, I see the main stage. I see the main stage. We're fucking here. Chug this drink at the speed of light. You have 19 different drinks that we have to chug in five minutes. They didn't have my globs. <laughs> and have sugar or carbs. So I'd be like, hey, what's a beer with no sugar or no carbs? <laughs> and then they don't know. And then they have to go behind the bar and figure it out. It's just so embarrassing. Caitlin fam. Caitlin Ray Nation. <laughs> Horrible substance ever. Whatever the fuck you guys are called. I saw this guy. He looked like Justin Bieber, right? Oh yeah, it wasn't Justin Bieber. Guess who it was? No, I thought it was Justin Bieber. You thought it was Justin Bieber? No, I was like, Justin Bieber doesn't have bright red hair. <laughs> Dude, what? He does in my mind. So I go up to Justin Bieber and I'm like, oh, this is my moment to like meet Justin Bieber. And it was the guy from Riverdale. 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 Megan finessing a free drink. We need to start walking. I feel like I'm in science class. Right? Walking. I feel like I'm Walter White. Have I'm you seen like... Breaking Bad? You haven't. No. Wait, we can't have these flashes on. <laughs> these people will kick me out. <laughs> they will kick me out. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, why are you sitting at home on the floor? You know it's not the same as it was. I don't want to talk about the way that it was. Come things but this is not one of them
Wait, I miss him so much. I'm gonna start crying again. How am I supposed to just? How am I supposed to just move on with my life? Does anyone? Oh my god, does anyone fucking know what to do next? I have to go on Wikipedia. I actually have no idea what to do with myself. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Fuck! That one! We, just, we look over like, what's Caitlyn doing? <laughs> no, don't drink that. <laughs> what else would I be doing right now? What's Caitlyn doing? Thing? You're doing the same thing as me! <laughs> oh, I hate it here. I have to wrap BTS around me. It's still in the morning. I did take a nap. Could you imagine us standing there with fucking headphones on? Right now, a silent disco right now. I would actually rather die than do that. How do these people have the energy? on real time and you followed us on our social medias you're one step ahead of the game you know something happened on saturday and you know that we were mia all fucking day on social media which is like one thing if it's like a normal day in may but day two at coachella me jake and meg were like nowhere to be found and everyone noticed that and the issue is is there's only so much i can tell you long story short we were working with a brand and friday we hired a hairstylist to come and do our hair for coachella you know it's always been a big dream and goal of mine we wanted to do our absolute most for this brand deal and make things really good. We had a hairstylist come and did our hair the way that me and Meg like to wear our hair and we were feeling super awesome about that stylist and what she had done. Oh my god, we loved it. We were obsessed. And so we took some pictures for the brand like we were supposed to and they hated our hair. We all had to <laughs> compromise as a team, me, Meg, and the brand and they were like, we should redo this tomorrow which was already kind of like not good for us. Like we needed posts up at a certain time and everything. Now everything was getting delayed a day. So we were like, oh fuck. And they didn't want us using the stylus that we had used that Freeze. day again. So I ended up throwing a ponytail extension into my hair and Meg just what I went with my hair. I loved it. it. Yeah. No, I was obsessed. Yeah. Like, I loved it. It was never looked better. So then day two rolls around and we end up <sighs> having a celebrity hairstylist join in on the fun for me and Meg. Which we were so excited about. We were like, this is our moment, you know, like we, good things are coming our way. Yep. Like this was meant for us. Like yep. we were so excited, you guys. You have no idea. Idea. Oh my god. We were up till five in the morning freaking out about it with Sarah. We were like, we can't believe this person is doing our hair. This yes. is huge. I can't believe they agreed to this. They're taking yes. the time out of their day, Coachella like, weekend, to do us. Like, what the fuck? How did we get that? Yeah. So, the only time that this person could come for this brand deal was at like 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. So the hairstylist, celebrity hairstylist that I uh, could not believe was stepping foot into my hotel comes and uh, the vibes are immediately horrible. <laughs> Terrible. Awful. Awful. Clearly obvious they didn't like us and they were there for their back. They said it multiple times. Yeah, it was made very clear that they did not care to be doing our hair, but they were doing it anyway. So um, they started doing our hair, didn't ask us what we needed, didn't ask us what to do. We had to use a few certain products in our hair for this deal. And they just kind of had a mind of their own and was mm -hmm. just like, I got this. I know what to do here. And I got this braid in my hair. Just It just happened. I was like, okay, I guess. Not what I was planning on doing, actually. Not even the accessories I was planning on personally using for this, but I was told I did not have a choice. I came out of this with my hair like this. <laughs> 
it might not seem that bad, but I understand this all sounds like first world problems, whatever the fuck. But when you are in the moment and you're working for a brand and you're rearranging things to make things perfect and you're like pulling in X, Y, and Z, money's being flown out the window. This weekend's supposed to be perfect. Meg randomly ends up coming here. I have to get to another place to do a brand deal to make my money, but I'm starting to not be able to make it to that. All on top of that, we're trying to go to the fucking festival to have fun. It kind of seems like the world is ending. But once again, I know it fucking was not. But with just how much money you spend over the weekend to make the weekend perfect, uh, yeah, having your hair turn out in a way that makes you not feel confident, uh, sucks. It was a major roadblock to say at the least. It kind of delayed us on all of our things we needed to get to that day because once they had left, we just stared at each other <laughs> in silence, just like, what, what the fuck do we do now? Meg's hairstyle <laughs> is the real issue. I know some of you saw this on Instagram because the day that we got back, we decided to just drop this bomb because we wanted to see what you guys had to say. And we posted these two pictures and everyone that got to see the post for like the 10 minutes it was up was like, what the fuck is this? You guys, we were dying. She's nothing like a girl you've ever seen before. I told them that I wanted, you know, this island girl vibe. I was wearing like this cute set made in Hawaii. I wanted peachy curls, like messy hair. This is what I fucking got. <laughs> We thought we were getting pranked. Yeah, yeah, when they left, we walked into the room with Jake and all the other girlies we were staying with, and I said to them, if we're on a prank show right now, you all need to tell us right fucking now. It, was it wasn't bad. a prank. We also were told that we were not allowed to tag them on Instagram. So I was like, um, I have a sneaking suspicion that you're not even proud of what you just did to us. So what the actual fuck just happened here? Don't you want your work online? You don't want your name tied to what you just did to us? Got oh, it, right. got <laughs> it. And then we ended up getting on the the phone with the brand and I was in tears being like I'm so uncomfortable right now Meg looks like an idiot <laughs> we've already wasted hours on this we have to wait for the approval from the brand that we can take this out mm -hmm. <laughs> Night. God, and then the whole Revolve Festival thing, we got separated from Jake, we couldn't get in, we almost got arrested trying to go in. Shocking. Fucking classic. Like I need to go back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Day two. Don't know where we are. No idea. In case anyone is wondering what we're doing right now, we're trying to get into the Revolve Festival through a way that you're supposedly not allowed to do, aka Ubering. You're supposed to shuttle, and this is what we're dealing with right now. And I have not been able to update you guys since last night when we saw Harry Styles, but honestly, it's been a fucking day. I have seen better days, yep. but we're turning it around, okay? Yeah. We. We might not be feeling ourselves right now in this exact moment. No. Nope. I might be feeling wildly insecure. We are on a mission to turn that around and also try and get into this fucking festival and then go to Coachella. So this does not look good. Ladies, don't walk this way. Keep walking. Keep walking. Just keep walking. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that didn't fucking work. No. Um, we got bitched at by a ton of cops and now I am texting our Uber driver that dropped us off here. Oh my God, he said he's 20 minutes away. No. I have to call someone. No. Oh my God. And the thing that also sucks is I had like a brand deal with them. Like they were actually paying me for something and I couldn't even get in to do my brand deal. No. <laughs> we sat in line at the shuttles for an hour and a half and then we eventually just had to leave. We were like, oh my God. There's no way we're getting in. This can not be real. Oh my God. We've been in line for 45 minutes. Someone just airdrop me this. This is bullshit. What has today been? Maybe if Meg flexes hard enough, a hot guy will give us a fucking ride out of this pit of despair. Flexing doesn't even matter anymore. Doesn't even matter anymore. No one gives a fuck. No one cares if you flex these days. Meg works the corner like this. <laughs> And then at one point she's just like, you I don't what? care. Fuck this. I'm yep. done. Ripped it out. It took us a solid like 30 minutes trying to get this fucking braid out. Oh my god. Wow. God. Don't even care anymore. Don't care. I tried something new today. It didn't work. Can't get a fucking ride. Guess what? Because I don't look great right now. <laughs> look, now we'll get a fucking ride. <laughs> I'm pulling at the Coachella. A ride? I would love a ride. The amount of hair that I fucking lost, but look at these pictures of what was in my hair. I look real good today. I look real good today. What is that? After your hair was lost. Oh what my. Actually? What is that brown shit in my hair? Kayla walked into day two around seven or eight o'clock with a messy bun. With a messy bun to <laughs> Coachella. Bun. I was like, it doesn't matter. This is such a first world problem. Like I honestly feel better in the messy bun than yeah. I did in the break. But then I walked into Coachella and I was like, other people will be in messy buns. Like it's fine. Like it's a hairstyle. Not one other person eventually ended up putting my hair in a ponytail, which was so hard to do. I couldn't brush through my hair at all. Oh, and this was also the same day as Neon Carnival. Another thing that I had a brand deal to go to. So just like the last possible 
single day that I ever needed to feel like shit and look like shit. But honestly, you guys, like, we have been laughing about it yeah. this whole entire time. Like, we haven't stopped. It's just so fucking funny. Like, we're gonna remember this for the, <laughs> for the rest, rest of our, of our lives. lives. But, like, what a disaster that day was just because of that single event that we thought was gonna change our lives for the better. Like, we thought we were on cloud nine, but it just, like, fucked us over so, so bad. <laughs> like, also, I forgot to talk about this part of the day that also made everything just terrible. We ended up getting separated from Jake all day long because the Ubers in Palm Springs that weekend were just so difficult to get. So when we were ready to go to Revolve Festival, we could only get two Ubers to get our five person group to Revolve because it was me, Meg, Jake, Anna, and her friend. So we all had to end up splitting up. And what sucked about that is there was no service in Palm Springs at all, but it was specifically worse near Revolve Festival. So we ended up getting separated from Jake for six hours. We had no clue if he got into Revolve or not. We had no idea if him Ubering in worked or not, or if he also had to reroute to the shuttles. By the time we got to the shuttles, he was nowhere to be found. But once again, we did not know if it was because he had made it into Revolve through the Uber trick or not. His location on Find My Friends would not update at all. And we just seriously had to hope and pray that he was safe and sound with Anna somewhere in Palm Springs. And also since it was so hard to get Ubers, when me and Meg were not let in through that entrance, we had to somehow go 15 minutes in the opposite direction to get to the shuttle pickup, but we couldn't get a fucking Uber. So some guy on the side of the road ended up yelling at me and Meg saying, hey, do you guys need a ride to the shuttles? And I'm going to be honest, he looked like the guy I lived with in Hawaii. And for some reason that didn't stop me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to risk my life right now. I'm going to get into this guy's car and I'm going to hopefully make it alive from point A to point B. So dangerous, probably don't ever do this. But I was so desperate to do my brand deal that I had that I risked my fucking life because they had a stupid shuttle system that made no sense at all. But anyways, the guy that drove me and Meg to the shuttles ended up being awesome. His name is Craig and Craig is actually a great friend of ours now. So luckily it worked out, I didn't die. Anyways, once me and Meg went to Coachella, we still had not heard from Jake because there was no service and we did not end up hearing from him and reuniting with him until after disclosure set that you're gonna see us go to in a second because only then did he have service to tell us, hey, I made it in really easily and I was there all day. Yeah, that's just another element to the um, nightmare day that we had. So yeah, day two. <laughs> <laughs> Just the entire energy of walking in today is just drastically different than yesterday. Yeah. We have to turn this day around. Yeah. We literally have to right now. Like, I'm on a fucking mission. We've been taking L's after L's after L's. All day. Fucking day. Since 9 a.m. I have to go see this closer. <laughs> that matters. No limits in the money. Money! Oh, I didn't get shoes! Oh, God, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot shoes. We'll tip you, we'll tip you. We'll tip you. I'm so sorry, dude. That was the one thing I needed. That was the Sarah one forgot thing I shoes. I know, I'm sorry. Fuck it, Sarah! I'll tip you, dude. I'm sorry. That was the one thing that I needed. They're like, oh, Sarah needs shoes. And I was like, period. And then we're all just vibing at the campsite. And I remember right now, I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm it missing something. It was shoes. I feel like I'm missing yeah. something. Rule number one, you cannot show up to knee on barefoot. No, because I was headbanging just now. And I saw your shoes. And, and I you're like, where are mine? Mine are absent. <laughs> mine are absent. Oh my God. <laughs> yes! You got your shoes now. We're ready. I think. <laughs> Say regret Christelle's shoes. Oh, right. 
So th this is this is the vibe. We're in the golf cart. <laughs> We're so happy. We're leaving the camp. We are all vibing. We're having a great time. We're going to the party. <laughs> Realize that I'm barefoot. Oh, I can't walk into a party without shoes. <laughs> so we get back to the bus, and I'm manically like, oh fuck, okay, I gotta like get shoes, get shoes, get shoes. I'm like opening up the bus. Me and Christelle have the same colored sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> the same white sneakers. In my manic, stressed out state, I grabbed the first white pair of sneakers. Yes. I didn't even put them on first. Nope. And then we're already grooving and moving and moving and moving. <laughs> I put my socks on. I put the first sneaker on. That's a size seven. That's and what a, are you? A 10. <laughs> like on the borderline of 10 and a half. My feet are And those massive. are just a seven. My dad is a <laughs> linebacker. <laughs> The Denver Broncos. You're like, my put it into perspective. <laughs> they my just like, look go, like they don't fit you either. And my toes go out to here and I'm cramming them. <laughs> Michael's birthday, birthday, birthday. I need birthday. a fucking giant hey. piece of It's Michael's birthday, 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 birthday. Hey. It's Michael's birthday, 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 birthday. Hey. Hey. It's Michael's birthday, 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 It's Michael's birthday. birthday. <laughs> just giving him a hug. <laughs> Oh, Michael, happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are finally here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're here. We're here. No, what are we part of? I didn't even know that. Disastrous last hotel room, and then you just <laughs> setting up. What is the Sarah Bask again? Is it like comfy? Yes, dude. Oh my. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> it just doesn't end. They literally have like a full DIY soup on the ground, kid. This is not real. I'm sleeping on the ground. Oh. <laughs> I just got off. What was that interaction? He just like walks up to me and just goes. My day three look. Look at me. You're making me feel like a zoo animal. <laughs> did I just make a sale on Depop? You sure did. <laughs> yes. Oh wait. Oh wait. We have another person. Oh, Sarah. Hello. This is Sarah. Did you talk so cute? Hi. <laughs> did you used to go to the den? Daddy. Huh? Did you used to go to the den? I slept on the floor. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you used to go to the den meditation? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I know you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Not you guys knowing each other. You worked at this meditation center that I went to every week. And she was the receptionist and she just checked me out every week. God, we need a meditation right now. Can you guys? What the fuck is going on? They know each other. Yes, oh my god, I have to be guys. What the fuck is happening? I thought she literally asked me, are you sleeping in the den? And I'm like, I was sleeping on the floor. And she's like, no, did you go to the den meditation center? Yeah, oh my god. Wait for me that I find my keys. The key to my brain, I'm car camping. And my friend lost our keys. So I have no way to leave. This shot of just everyone in a circle. How's your bed? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Wait, what? I'm just stretching. <laughs> okay, party people, today we're gonna actually have a good fucking day. Woo! I like what I look like. I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna kiss a hot guy. We're gonna make out with men. Whoa. For once, your voice is gone before mine. How is that possible? I have laryngitis. I can't fucking wait for the weekend. Oh! She's been playing gasoline Non-stop. Literally every five seconds. I love this new album so much. Like, I will die for it. And the fact that I get to see it tonight. Oh my god, me and Sarah are gonna have a fucking conniption. But we're finally gonna try and go to Revolve Fest because it did not work yesterday. There was just so much oh. chaos.
chaos with the shuttles and stuff and I really need to go for like an hour. So we're gonna go try and check that out and then we're going to Coachella and then we need to run around Coachella because we've still barely been to any of the other yeah. tents. We've barely done any, oh my God, it's the last day, I'm going to cry. The thought of not getting ready for Coachella again tomorrow actually makes me wanna start sobbing right now but we're not gonna think about it. Oh my God. Stop. My stomach just dropped. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm having fun today. Let's get high before Coachella, take a whiff. <laughs> God, this is not going well. Oh my God. God. What are you it's just cause to... this man looked at my hand yesterday and I this didn't man. I didn't have time to do my nails before I came. What? And now that I'm, literally yeah, smells so bad. The things we do for men. Meg, your nails look like Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> I really think Meg is trying to make a comeback for crackle nail polish. <laughs> There's a hair in this. <laughs> a hair, a piece of food, a booger. <laughs> the frustration I have right now. There's no one here today. There's nobody here today. God damn. Glad I missed the one fun day. Nice. <laughs> nice. No, really awesome stuff. So no one wants to sit with me. No, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna be sad soon, so I'm starting to be sad. Last time we were in this position, it was our third day of Coachella trying to get in, yeah, and I Ariana. almost got stopped, and it was for Ari Chella. And they yelled at you, they're like, hey, stop. And we're like, no! Oh my God. I'm gonna shove this up my ass. My mom okay. told me to go to Applebee's. We're going to Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2019 again. Oh my fucking god, it's Curtis. <laughs> We're going to Applebee's? Yeah. Right now? Yes. Let's go. I want to stay far away from Applebee's. Applebee's We're, like kind of but only if I'm with Curtis. It's, it's nostalgic, bitch. $3 long my, Island iced tea. My oh bus. My god. Oh my fuck! <laughs> My phone is that doesn't mean don't, the party stops. Don't come to Coachella. <laughs> Why? You're gonna be in so much pain. Oh my god. I feel like I broke my fucking spleen. Meg, how are you feeling? I feel depressed. I feel like depressed. shit. <laughs> Is that the G7 action? Yeah. Get that shit out of my face. When your phone says Wait, you have to whip this bad boy out. Not the viewfinder. Not the viewfinder. Don't come to coach up. Oh my god, my eyeball. No one look at it. <laughs> Three years later, we're back at the fucking Applebee's. This is the best day of my life. Hey, I need mozzarella sticks. I have Curtis's sweatshirt on. Oh my god, Curtis is holding my boots. <laughs> Some people wait a lifetime. Oh my god, this is all I wanted. You sound nothing like her. <laughs> I can't leave. <laughs> what the fuck happened this week? <laughs> what? I have to go. If anyone knows what just happened to me, please let me know. <laughs> Anything to drink for you? Yeah. This looks like a pile of shit. Why does this look like a pile of shit? <laughs> 
It's apple French toast. You, what the fuck? Hey guys, we've been in the car for six I hours. I can't drive anymore. I'm still in yesterday's makeup. The rumors are true. There's like a giant orange patch she in the middle of my forehead. Disgusting, and she has a fucking blister on her fucking ring toe the size of goddamn Antarctica. Stop, leave it alone. I'm <laughs> grateful I'm in the dark back here. <laughs> I haven't looked in a mirror like You look day. fine, but <laughs> I like it. The castle. What the fuck happened last night? What the fuck happened this weekend? I don't know. These two nasty <laughs> You guys! Just insert the picture of me asking you where the flag fuck you two were this morning. <laughs> And then us immediately answering with a picture of us in an Uber being like, man, we fucked up. Yeah, we fucked up a lot of things. We could have flown back to LA on a private jet today. Yeah, but no, we had to fucking take this goddamn Buick <laughs> back to goddamn Los Angeles. <laughs> but no, bitch, I'm fucking stuck here driving this car for six hours. <laughs> I've literally oh been God. drunk all day up until like <laughs> 45 minutes ago. Because Worst we thing. drank wine until seven in the morning and watched yep. the sunrise. <laughs> I was at the same place they were and I was I was like, I have to go. Climbed over a wall, called an Uber, and fucking left. I thought they were gonna come back maybe an hour or two later. It's bright, shiny, and early, 10 a.m. I was like, we have to check out. I was like, what the fuck happened? I was like, where did you go? Oh I my just, God. I made myself comfortable at my surroundings. Oh, you definitely made yourself comfortable. <laughs> God. She herself's a little too comfortable. <laughs> I hate having straight girlfriends. I've been in a silly mood today. Very silly. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I'm definitely gonna get to a point where I cry. As of right now, I'm still cackling. You're a fucking bitch. Magnachella. I have Never something left. to share. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to share? I won the lottery. <laughs> no. So. Megan won five fuckers. <laughs> Give it up for Megan. <laughs> Okay, great. So you're gonna treat me to a sprite. Like <laughs> you're gonna treat me to a sprite. Me, you guys. <laughs> What's going on with your voices right now? <laughs> Comment down below if you would listen to Caitlin and I talk with these raspy ass voices. But people think it's really hot when my voice is raspy. Yeah, me too. People kept saying on my TikTok that you're just kind of like an old man. I sound bitch. like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> His voice goes back to normal. Okay, bitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. oh wait, this isn't hot. We yeah. have to go to the Mazda dealership. And do what? Buy Megan a Mazda. <laughs> Not until she buys me a Sprite. I don't even like. Oh I don't even God. like Sprite. Oh. I look like I went to hell and back. I look like you're a lesbian mother that you don't have. <laughs> Guys, we almost got in a car accident seven earlier. times. What were you saying earlier? That was so oh, funny. Oh, we were talking about uncircumcised penis. <laughs> Comment down below. And I looked back. I looked. I looked back at Megan. I, I looked. I looked oh! I looked back at Megan. Literally forgetting that I was driving, took my foot off the gas <laughs> and brake. Inch away from this fucking Camry in front of me. Not the Camry. Dad. But there were several other instances where I almost rear ended oh someone. My God. <laughs> but... I look that bad. I'm like literally tearing up. Oh my. What a fucking weekend. <laughs> oh my. It's all over my face. You can see the weekend all hey, over my face. Who's ready for weekend two? I am ready for weekend two. I'm ready. Yeah, gonna set me up again. <laughs> Can't get over you saying comment down below if you have an uncircumcised <laughs> penis. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. We have to talk to you. We have to talk Something to you. We have, we have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> we have a question. We have a very specific question. No, we have really. a serious question as to why you never mind. Here's the history of the gay. uncircumcised <laughs> penis <laughs> and how it came to be. No. It's actually more unsanitary, I guess, to have a circumcised dick. Oh, you're icky. Wait, you're telling me my clean weenie no. is dirty? I, heard. I don't know if I believe Well, no, no, no. The elephant trunk is supposed to be there to protect the genitalia. So why don't you have one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's where we're at today. Thanks for tuning in.